All right, guys, science class today, we're gonna be melting some sugar and we're gonna be making some, well, it's actually a surprise. I'll show you in a minute. Can't, uh, can't spoil it for the class. Okay, for this experiment, we are melting 50 milliliters of sugar. I've got a thousand milliliter beaker here to spread out, get some more surface area on that to make that go quicker. And then of course we've got a spoon, a couple of hot hands and two beakers of cool water. So we're gonna see what happens once we get this sugar all the way melted. Boiling right now. We're gonna go ahead, I've got a very hot sugar. We're gonna go into cool water. Probably should not do it while it's boiling. But in beaker A, I'm gonna pour it very slowly. I'm gonna do my best to drip it in. It's super hot right now. I wish I hadn't boiled it, but it is gonna work so all the same. I should probably be wearing goggles. But bad candies. Can we eat them? That's lovely. Wow. Okay. Bear with it. Hold on a second. So beaker A, guys, I'm going to be pouring into the beaker as slowly as I can. And then I'm going to move over to beaker B in just a moment. I'm going to pour the sugar in a little bit more rapidly. Okay, so I'm gonna move over to beaker B now. Okay, so there's good. I'm gonna go back to beaker A. We're just gonna put the remaining into beaker A. Mmm, bon appetit. Like it burnt. does. It, it is pretty burnt. I will say that. Wait, can we still eat it? <laughs> we will not eat our science experiment today. I want to die. It does. This is essentially what will happen when you s'more your marshmallows a little bit too much. It does. It smells like a burnt marshmallow. Oh man, I'm so excited to clean these beakers. It smells like a marshmallow that you burnt. Yeah. Why is everybody saying it smells like You need to make like okay. it does. It oh wow, that's really stuck. Oh, get off the It looks like syrup. It smells like it. It smells like a burnt marshmallow. Alright, look at that. It is solidified. Can you eat that? Okay. All right, guys, so we're gonna give this a moment to cool off and then we're gonna pour the water out of the two beakers and then we're gonna compare the sugar rocks that we just created. Do you guys believe that rock A is gonna look in the same in appearance or size as rock B? No. All right, I suspect there'll be some differences as well, but we're gonna ask ourselves a couple of questions. How did rock A form? What does it look like? How did rock B form? What does it look like? So those are going to be the questions that we're going to be comparing in just a moment, but we're going to let these, I think they're good to go. We're going to go ahead and pour off the water now and compare the two rocks. <laughs> you didn't even eat it. Oh, it's terrible. Eat it's incredibly burnt. Eat, like it tastes like, eat the whole thing. you know where you're eating a burnt marshmallow and you're not sure if it's marshmallow or like a chunk of log you accidentally touched? Yeah. Like that's what it tastes like right now. Just swallow it. Yeah. 